Hi everyone, I'm Charlotte, and today I'm going to be talking about what it's like to be a patient in a clinical trial. Um, so a little bit about myself. I'm 17 years old and going to be a senior in high school. I'm treated at UCSF Mission Bay in San Francisco, California. I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma at age 14 in my right femur. I received MAP treatment, had a limb salvage surgery, and due to multiple relapses, I've had multiple chemotherapies, two thoracotomies, a CAR T cell trial, and recently a pleurectomy. So what is a clinical trial? It is a scientific study conducted using humans, and the goal is to find new therapies, procedures, and treatments. So how does it work? So researchers test new drugs or treatments that they have on animals or in cell dishes. And from this, they obtain preclinical research. And if this research is promising and has the potential to improve the care of patients, they can start their clinical trial. Most, most to all clinical trials have fa four phases. The first, mostly focusing on safety and dosing. The second, focusing on effectiveness. And the third phase is when they can usually expand the trial so more patients can participate. And in the fourth phase, the trial can be approved by the FDA. So how can you find clinical trials? There are two easy ways to find. The first is mibagents.org, where you can take this quiz and it will find you a clinical trial in under 60 seconds. Or you can also visit clinicaltrials.org.gov where there's a search criteria. And I've learned from my parents that if you could consider searching by solid tumors as you may get a better range of answers. So um, some pros and cons of clinical trials. Obviously in a clinical trial, it has the potential to work and it could possibly slow the spread of your cancer. And being a patient in the clinical trial, you are providing more data and research and information. But also the clinical trial is not guaranteed to work and they are a risk because there are known but also unknown side effects that doctors don't know about. Usually clinical trials are in a different location than where you live. So that could mean separation from your family. So the trial that I participated in was in Seattle, Washington. Luckily my trial was outpatient, but I did have to stay there for five weeks. It was a CAR T cell trial that targeted the protein EGFR that I expressed highly in my nodules, which is the reason that we chose this trial. And I was treated at Seattle Children's. So how did my trial work? Um, there was kind of two main steps, I would say, or yeah, steps. So the first thing they had to do was something called an apheresis, where they remove blood six weeks prior. And this blood circulates and separates the T cells from the rest of the blood. And the remaining blood goes back into your body. Then those T cells are genetically engineered to attack cells that express the protein EGFR. Then I was given a chemotherapy to lower my immune system which has shown that the T cells could work better when I have a lower immune system. And then those T cells were injected back into my body. So here on the left photo is the 55 million T cells. And on the right is the nurse giving them to me, which I received in under one minute. So the ups and downs of my trial. So luckily, as I said, it was not an inpatient therapy. So I was able to be home, which was the C Seattle city where I stayed in a condo where my parents switched off coming. 
I was able to have visitors, which was great. So you can see my friend here. Um, and I was able to explore the city. So I went to a Seattle Mariners game with my family because I was feeling so good. I also had a 47% engraftment, which meant that my T cells multiplied in an insane amount, which also turned out to be a down because it caused an unexpected liver complication, which led me to be in the hospital for a couple um, to be watched. I was also away from family and friends, which made me miss them, but I was able to FaceTime the ones who couldn't visit. And sadly, I am still recovering from this liver incident. So, yes. So my results, um, so the results that I had I had a chest CT scan six weeks after my cells were injected back into my body. I had a mixed result. Um, some of my nodules in my lungs shrunk, some stayed the same size, and I did have a few new nodules. And the, my doctor said that that was a pretty good response. And that's mostly what they had been having. And here am I with my doctor and my um social thank you so much for watching and do you have any questions yeah how did you get to be so amazing that's one of my <laughs> questions um because you just had a pleurolectomy yeah. how long ago three, three weeks ago. yeah but that's it's just amazing it is you just continue to amaze um charlotte just truly um, I did have a question about the the blood they took out and then extracted the T cells and then put the blood back in. Yeah. In the time, like, did they take out so much blood to get those T cells out that, that yeah. why did they have to put it back in? Was it, was it because it was- Yeah, it was like a four hour process of just blood going out and like circulating in this big machine. And so I think I would have lost a lot of blood if they didn't put it back in. Okay, so then how long before they put the blood back in? The four hour process? Oh, so the four hour process, I think it just kind of goes back, it like just circulates and then just comes back in. Like, uh, okay, in okay. Yeah. I was thinking they like took it out. Oh, no, no, no. It's oh, like, it's it like back going in. back and forth, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Because I was thinking, at, like, in the meantime, did you have to be in the hospital? Because that would have been really you. Yeah, it was like this big machine next to me, like shaking with the blood in it. It was pretty crazy. Yeah, I, I think most people I know, I certainly did. When when I get an IV, I'm freezing cold, like the whole yeah. time. Anyway, so you must have been like a popsicle. Yeah, I had like three blankets on me. It was crazy. Yeah, crazy. Um, okay, from Sabine, you are so mature, uh, Charlotte, I think probably <laughs> is for everybody, uh, way beyond your years, I take my hat off to you. How easy or difficult was it to decide to participate in a clinical trial? Um, <clears throat> well, it, we were kind of at a point of like, I had done all of the chemotherapies that have been out here, and I did an immunotherapy and we were looking at, we were just looking at options because that was kind of all that was left. And we were looking at two different clinical trials and we just decided on this one. Um, we just, you know, there was a chance that it would work. So we took that chance. Um, how has osteosarcoma changed you? <laughs> That's a hard question. More like how has no. it changed you and I, I'm you know I've been dealing with this for like three years mm -hmm. and it's taken me on such a different path because I was like a soccer athlete before and now you know I can't even run now like my exercise is walking and playing golf so it's really taken me in a different path but I like the path that it's taken me you know I enjoy the things that I do and can do and I've met so many amazing people in my journey, you know, MIB agents, all of you guys. Um, so yeah, it's just changed me a lot. Yeah, 